everybody. Uh, this evening I'm recording the hymns a bit earlier on today. They're all taken from hymns and psalms. Uh, when this goes out I shall be at church council. Uh, so I said I would record them beforehand. I'm going to start with 274 Saviour, Blessed Saviour to the tune Norfolk Park. Uh, Colin Williams has requested this he, and he's great for giving us a bit of background information as to um, who uh, 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 yes. um, the tune is by Sir Henry Coward a British conductor orphaned at the age of eight and made to work in a factory he was orphaned and at eight and made to work in a factory uh, he worked hard to better himself and was later credited with reviving choral singing, was described as the most gifted choir trainer ever. He was asked to oversee the gathering of 60,000 children singing for Queen Victoria in Norfolk Park, hence the tune name. Uh, that was at Norton Park, Nor sorry, Norfolk Park, I think it's in Sheffield. He died at the age of 94, so he had a good innings. And uh, I've always liked this hymn, always liked the tune, so I'll play it for you now.
274 Saviour, Blessed Saviour So in contrast Moving on to 280 For some reason this tune was I can't tell you why I had this tune Dominica on my mind I think I, when I was thinking about 274 before I'd looked up the um, words of 274 um, I, this, I was trying to think what hymns were around that area and uh, I was thinking about this tune Dominica and it's uh, set to these words breathe on me breath of God and I'm going to play that tune I know there is a, there's the gauntlet St George's tune as well but I'm going to uh, play the Dominica tune um, so breathe on me breath of God fill me with life and uh, a nice tune uh, I was thinking that uh, when I was talking about the tunes the other evening just thinking through there we start we're in the key of a, a four flat four black notes in this tune and we get little excursions to different places in that first line we've actually moved quite a long way. It's always interesting to see what composers do. It's always good to pick up on what they do for, for effect, but it's moved across um, quite a little way. Let me go back. And then a lovely rising phrase. keys and A flat is a nice warm sort of key um, you have to sort of take my word for that but if I was to to play it in a different key it might sound slightly different well 
I wonder, uh, can I do this? He says confidently. Well, I can give it a go. I'll make a mess of it. I've only got myself to blame. So here it is in the key of A flat. <laughs> the tune being uh, in, in four flats. Uh, it's a great subject, keys and temperament. <laughs> it's always good to have an, an even sort of well-balanced temperament, isn't it? And that's what um, we've come down to um, uh, over, over the years. Um, Bach wrote 48 preludes and fugues for the well-tempered clavier and there were various ways of, 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 of tuning um, the distances between the notes. Um, if you're mathematical um, then and, and you divide the distances up between the notes mathematically the sound is not what you want to, to hear. Um, I can't demonstrate that on this uh, at, the, at the moment, but let's do it another day perhaps. Uh, but we, Bach developed this well-tempered uh, system of tuning, or it, or it was he, he rather than she didn't actually develop it, it was he that, that fostered it. So you could play some pieces on a keyboard which doesn't have what we call equal temperament and it will sound hideous especially just that one in four flat anyway I've, I've digressed and gone off I'm going to be playing some hymns not um, uh, trying to sound clever about uh, temperaments and things anyway Moving on to our next hymn, which is 293, O come and dwell in me, spirit of power and liberty. And, uh, tune is Hampton, brackets Huddersfield, melody from William's Psalmody in Miniature, words by Charles Wesley. Good and bold. Here we go.
Do you know, I think that was one of the worst introductions I've played. Uh, I thought, oh, well, that's enough, and I'll just cut to the end. And I thought, actually, that wouldn't be any good. I'd be quite critical of anybody doing that in that um, uh, it doesn't give the congregation uh, a good chance to, to get familiar with the tune. Now then, 377. The great tune Angel Voices by Monk uh, and uh, come to us creative spirit in our father's house. Uh, I don't, I know I played the tune Angel Voices but not too sure about uh, these particular words but they are rather nice. So come to us creative spirit. So we'll do a bit of a, let's do that first. There we go. Come to us, creative spirit. to come to us creative spirit uh, it is great though isn't it that verse 2 poet painter music maker all your treasures bring it's been lovely uh, the TMC we have a wonderful flower ministry at the church and uh, we um, we're not able to enjoy that in the way that, w that we, we would do or other people as well because flowers are distributed um, I know if I've been ill, then I've received some flowers. It's lovely. 
a little token, a little gesture, a, a little visit, and it cheers you up. Uh, but now we have a, uh, a, 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 a an art ministry of flowers uh, by Anya Carstens, I think the lady's name is. If I got that wrong, I do apologise. Uh, and we've had um, artwork with flowers, and it's been um, it's been lovely, really beautiful. So more talents coming on board, craftsman, actor, graceful dancer. We haven't had any dancing worship just for a while. Victoria Hocking, our youth enabler, um, and is, is a great dancer, uh, and um, she uh, has, has put together some uh, young people from church, and they have contributed to worship in uh, dance. It's been great. With all these different things. Now, I know singing is one of those sort of universal things we can do, but it's lovely to have these other aspects as well. So uh, let's hope we can get back to that before too much sooner. Moving on to 393. I just a gentle little tune, which we don't get to sing very often. An old French tune called Claire de la Luna. And um, Jesus' hands were kind hands, doing good to all healing pain and sickness, blessing children small. And of course it's up to us to take up the mantle, isn't it? Doing those things that we can, no matter how small it is. I was thinking today, I had sort of one of those days and I don't feel, I look back and think, well, what have we achieved today? And uh, this morning sort of disappeared. Uh, but saying that, I had a, 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 a video call with my my cousin talking about uh, church and, and how we can develop things. And then I've done a bit of car shifting. That was been interesting today and this afternoon. Uh, three different cars in uh, uh, in the space of an hour. Uh, so I have achieved a few things, um, but not as much as I would like. Uh, but there we are. We all have days like that, don't we? Um, so. Or Claire de la Lune. So let's see what we can come up with on this hymn.
beginning I said let's see what we can do with this um, something <laughs> an unplanned meander around using that French tune so our last hymn for this evening and I thought I'd finish on something um, big and bold and strong just for a change. It's still daylight here because it's only now quarter past six. Uh, if I do this again, I must turn the television off. I think you can may have been distracted by the reflection across in the picture to the left of me. Um, I have I just turned the sound off and uh, I've noticed that it's something looks like they're playing something. <laughs> My hands are over here. For the might of thine arm we bless thee, our God, our Father's God. From the Fellowship Hymn Book, a tune attributed to John Manning. And the, world, word, the words by Charles Sylvester Horn. Now, for the might of thine arm we bless thee, our God, our Father's God. Hymns of the Faith. I uh, enjoy playing that. Uh, look forward to uh, playing for you again on Sunday. Next time I will actually be live as opposed to this recording. Um,
give us. Uh, by the time we get to the end of this program, we'll be uh, what you're seeing now. Uh, hopefully, we'll be over halfway to our church council meeting. Who knows? So, um, thank you for looking in. Keep your requests coming in. And uh, now then, let's just have a little think of this. I had a suggestion, and I'm going to work on this for October the 25th. Got a suggestion from uh, Shirley Bassett down at Port Levin. Will they have a harvest of the sea? So, I'm going to plan a sort of harvest of the sea for the 25th of October. Now, if you got hymns which you associate with the sea, and I have to confess, I cannot remember in my um, 60 odd years of, 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 of actually having been to a service particularly called the Harvest of the Sea. So, um, it will be something different for me perhaps, but hopefully we know, we know the hymns, but, so, uh, uh, let's... Um, Let's uh, let's think on that. I I, I remember going. Um, my own experience of the harvest of the sea. It was going to Port Levin and playing the organ in the in the in Fourth Street. There, it's an organ that I worked on. It's a lovely organ, an organ I worked on as a student with Lance Foy overhauling it, and uh, it proved uh, a, a delightful time to spend down there working on the organ and there was a lovely cake shop, a lovely bakery down the road so I used to disappear off and get some. Anyway, that's beside the point. It's got nothing to do with the last occasion when I played at Paul for Levin and um, I, I, I played something, a, a piece, and um, I finished playing and uh, you know I came to the end of my piece carrying on it's what we call in the t in the trade a cipher so now I'm faced with the possibility of having this note being stuck all the time throughout the duration of the service or turning the organ off and all the rest I'll turn it off because it's getting on the nerves and um, so I thought right I do know a bit about this organ I've been inside let's go and find the note and fix the cipher so you actually take the pipe out I managed to get inside, and, and what reminds me, because there was some of the stuff from the, the, the decorations for the Harvest of the Sea were kept beside the organ, and I had to move one or two out of the way to actually access the organ. And to cut a long story short, I went in, got into the organ, and I couldn't find this offending note, which was just going on and on and on. And I couldn't f find it, and time was going on, and getting slightly panicky, and so on. And, um, I had to pull myself up on the side. I grabbed hold of something and pulled myself up, and it all came down on me. And I landed on a heap, bashed my head on the small box. Uh, that wasn't very forgiving because it's solid wood, fell down, and I thought, oh goodness me, what damage have I done? Well, fortunately, fortunately, I hadn't done significant damage. I found the offending pipe fixed it, put it all back together, played the service, went back in afterwards and checked. I did own up uh, to David Philp, who plays the organ there, um, and there, there, was, there was no damage done, but it's one of those occasions, um, it's a story to relate. Funny things happen to organists, um, you know, and organs have a mind of their own, and decided, well, I can't play a whole service with this, Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to wit out so and so with this going all the time. It would have been ridiculous. So, um, there we go. So that was my last experience of Port Levin and a little bit tacked on with the, the harvest of the sea. Anyway, so um, I came out of the organ rather sweaty and dishevelled, it's, it's fair to say. <laughs> but um, we got through this. So nobody really was. Well, there must people, the guests must have wondered what earth I was doing to start with. But there we go. Right, folks, do take good care of yourselves. I will be uh, see you again on Sunday. Well, um, there we go. So do take care. God bless. All the best for now.